physical sciences panel uh, encompassed a, a very large range of subjects, physics, chemistry, geology, and astronomy. Uh, maybe I've forgotten a few other subjects. Um, fortunately, we had a really distinguished uh, jury panel, uh, and uh, when uh, we couldn't get enough help in chemistry, fortunately Caltech is stocked with a few Nobel laureates in chemistry who helped me out. Uh, the jury panel consists of Professor Dan McKenzie, Professor of Earth Sciences at Cambridge University, Crawford Laureate. Professor J. V. Narlikar, Founder Director and now Emeritus Professor, Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, Pune. Professor K. R. Srinivasan, until recently, Abdus Salam Honorary Professor and Director of International Center for Theoretical Physics, Trieste, Italy, and now Professor of Physics and Mathematics at NYU, New York. And finally, Professor Frank Wilczek, Herman Feshbach Professor of Physics, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Nobel Laureate in Physics. Um, I'm happy to announce that this year's winner, the inaugural winner, is Professor Thanu Padmanabhan. Let's Let me read the citation. Professor Padmanabhan has distinguished himself with fundamental contribution to several areas of theoretical astrophysics. Through a series of papers, Padmanabhan has shown that the link between Einstein's theory of general relativity and thermodynamics is far deeper than suggested by the early work done in the 70s. This work opens a way of selecting gravity theories in higher dimensions and is expected to provide fresh impetus and light to this field. Professor Padmanabhan's approach is widely considered to be innovative and beautiful. Padmanabhan has also made highly perceptive and critical contributions to our present understanding of the data on high redshift supernovae. Additionally, his interpretation of the cosmological constant and dark energy has had significant impact on the overall work in this field. Padmanabhan has also written several highly successful graduate level textbooks in astrophysics as well as popular books aimed at explaining astrophysics and cosmology to the lay public. This is quite a citation and uh, I thought I'd just give a, a very brief explanation of a couple of things. Uh, I thought I could skip the general relativity and thermodynamics since most of you are very familiar with that aspect of his work. Okay. Uh, uh, so. Basically, the recognition here is on uh, a very important development in astrophysics, namely uh, dark energy and dark matter. Dark energy is in particular, you may not be aware, but every cubic centimeter of space has dark energy and it, it, it dominates over everything else, including ourselves. And Professor Padmanabhan's work, we believe, has made great progress in this field and perhaps in a few years would in fact see a closure on the kinds of explanations he has had uh, brought to this. The only difficulty I had in chairing this was uh, if you looked at the list, I was the least uh, uh, prominent member of the jury, and so any teleconferences we had to set up, I said I could be that everyone could decide and I'll, I'll accommodate. So I'm very happy this process is over because I no longer have to get up at 4.30 in the morning to attend this telecons. Congratulations, Patty. Thank you, sir. Not only is the universe stranger than we can imagine, it is stranger than we can imagine. Please join me in welcoming on stage the winner of the Infosys Prize in Physical Sciences, Professor Thanu Padmanabhan. I request Professor Padmanabhan to join Professor Kulkarni and Mr. Chris Gopalakrishnan, Anchor Trustee for Physical Sciences, on the stage. Professor Padmanabhan to say a few words. 
One of our previous winners said that it is very difficult to say anything appropriate at this occasion, but I will try. I am certainly very happy to receive this prize and this honor, certainly as the first recipient of this uh, Infosys Science Prize. But while we are congratulating us winners here, we should also take a moment and congratulate Infosys on this great thing which they have achieved. There was tremendous need for a set of awards of this kind in this country, and I think this fills a gap. Yet another first for Infosys and its leaders and the chiefs. The kind of awards which they have instituted, I'm certain is going to go a long way in instilling a sense of sense of belonging in this country itself and also to feel that what we achieve here will be duly recognized. And it is more appropriate because of the kind of international standing which these awards are destined to occupy very soon. I have no doubt at all that this is going to become the most prestigious award in the years to come in this country. On a personal note, I should say that uh, whatever little I have achieved could not have been possible without the support of several people, but notably two other physicists in my family, my wife, Vasanti Patmanabhan, and my daughter, Hamsa. Thank you, Vasanti. Thank you, Hamsa.